A Falkville man is facing charges in connection to the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Now, this comes more than a year and a half after that event, and the FBI says they arrested Bobby Russell at his home in Falkville earlier today. News 19's Emily Mosner has been digging into the 16-page document filed by the Department of Justice and the FBI. Emily, what can you tell us? Well, that document, the FBI says they tracked Russell down using a Google account tied to his mobile device. Investigators say GPS records link that device to being on U.S. Capitol grounds on January 6, 2021. The document says the device was on those grounds between 1:12 and 4:32 that afternoon when a large crowd appeared and later overran the Capitol. The DOJ says the device was tracked to a phone number registered to Bobby Russell of Falkville. Investigators say Russell also appeared in multiple law enforcement body camera videos. The DOJ shared these pictures from the videos. The man investigators identified as Russell is wearing jeans, a brown jacket, and a red Alabama crimson tied sweatshirt. According to the DOJ, Russell was seen confronting officers on the opposite side of a metal barricade. In one picture, Russell appears to grab onto a barricade, causing it to break apart. The DOJ says he resisted police officers' orders to move away before officers then pepper sprayed him. FBI investigators say at 4.20 p.m., Metro PD officers formed a line to try and get people out of the area. The FBI says Russell pushed into the officers and resisted them, then told told the officers, quote, I'm not scared of you and I'm not weak. In addition to the body camera footage, the FBI offered these pictures found on Russell's Facebook page. They say they believe they were taken on the same day. The FBI says Bobby Russell is charged with two felonies related to assaulting, resisting, or impeding law enforcement officers and interfering with a law enforcement officer during a civil disorder. He is also charged with four misdemeanors. The U.S. Attorney's Office says after Russell was arrested late this morning, he made his initial appearance in the U.S. District Court for Northern Alabama. They say he was then released pending further proceedings. His initial appearance is tentatively set for September 1st.